Hi there mga Kabarnerians, welcome back here in this channel. Something good Something good Hello, good day again mga Kabarnerians. Thank you so much for clicking this video as always. Again, this is Bonnie, your HRT Queen. And to those new here and don't have any idea regarding about the channel, we featured everything regarding about crowd stressor and transgender women. So if you feel that you don't like this content, feel free to next this video and find a video that will keep happy into yourself. And for today's special episode, we are going to listen again with our transgender women as they share their thoughts and experiences on how to live like a transgender woman. So without further ado mga Kabarnians, let's go dive in and listen with our beautiful transgender women. Watch this. Let's talk about dating while being trans. Today I made a poll on my story asking should I make an update, should I do anything with this subject and the response by a majority was yes. So I will tell you all a little bit about my side of the story and how I perceive dating while being transgender female. So let me start off by saying I have been single for the past 8 years. Yes, 8 years. And I have been actively looking for commitment for I would say the last three years. Now dating is already an extremely hard thing to do in your life but when you're trans that goes even further. The first reason for this is because there is still so incredibly much stigma and prejudice, 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 Pre prejudice. Stigma happening around when it comes to a straight male dating a transgender female. Whenever a straight male would say to his friends, I'm dating a trans girl to a trans female, the response nine out of ten times would be negatively. Oh, that's still a man, you're gay. So not only is it extremely hard for me to find a date, it is also extremely hard for that person to be honest about dating me. Next up, you obviously have to like each other. There has to be a physical and mentally attraction. Oh, well, that may not be that surprising. The mental part is a bit different. We as transgender females will often be kept away as a secret because they are afraid to tell the world about us, about dating us. And then there is a third reason, and I think that this is the most commonly known, but also the most how can I say it? The most used for an excuse by the trans community itself. Attraction to transgender people. So it happens a lot that whenever I would go on a date with someone or I would tell someone about me, you know, just so that we're on the same grounds. Because I want to go comfortably on a date and I want my date to go to be comfortable as well. And it does happen a lot that a person would say, oh, I actually didn't know you were trans. I am not that interested in dating with you because you are trans. Now let me tell you, that is not transphobic. It is a law of attraction. That person is just not a attracted to transgender people. That's okay. We all have our preferences. Saying that someone is transphobic because they do not want to date you being trans, that doesn't make sense. No, it's extremely difficult to hear whenever someone doesn't want to date you because you are trans, but that's life. That's, that's unfortunately what we have to deal with. Now, I am wondering if any of you face problems while dating. Comments down below. There is nothing I love more than a hot gay man. Don't get me wrong, I love like straight guys, but if I see a hot gay man who's 10 times hotter than a straight guy, I'm folding instantly. I can't help it, I'm just attracted to the hottest guys ever, and if that happens to be a gay man, I'm gonna convince him to f me every time. They smell good, they dress well, they look fresh. I wanna f him. I'll tell them, you know, fuck me, top me, put it in my butt. Just put it in my f***ing butt, come on. Like, straight men are fun, but a hot gay guy, I'm like, just f*** me, come on. I know you're into guys, and I know that I'm not a boy, but just f*** me. I'll accept my loss if they say no, but if I can, I'm gonna keep convincing them until he says yes. I have never been more moved by a music video than I was by Ariana Grande's We Can't Be Friends music video. I want to recreate her, like, white flowery eyeliner, a la... That. I might do it a little more subtle. I'm lazy, so I think I would normally use like a cake, like a white cake liner, but right now it's like somewhere in my makeup collection in my closet. So I'm gonna try and do this whole thing with just the Milani Stay Put Tank Eyeliner in white. To map it out, I'm just gonna use this white pencil for makeup forever. And I wanna draw like little bubbles first. She kind of goes like right 
along her eyebrow. Since I was very little, not very little, maybe like high school, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind has been my favorite movie. I might have even said this on here like years ago. It's just a beautiful, beautiful film. I'm not gonna give much away, but the concept deals with if there were capability to erase a person from your memories, would you do it? I had a really, really bad breakup a few years back and all I wanted was to get rid of this person from my mind. She goes down under her eye too. This is again, just the sketch. I'm gonna draw like a line that kind of follows my orbital bone. Now I'm just gonna fill it in. This is just to get like a base down. Now let's try doing this. I need to have a steady hand so I might not be able to talk. I've had like three cups of coffee today, so this is really hard. Now I'm gonna do my best to fill it in really smoothly. I'm going in with a matte white pigmented eyeshadow and I'm just placing it over top to set it and to smooth everything. This is definitely the best it's gonna get. Not perfect, but it's okay. Do I look like peaches? <laughs> How would I do? There is no hate like Christian love. And I'm not talking about Christians who practice what they preach and spread the word of God. I'm talking about bigoted Christians who would use religion to mask their hate, who would be outright homophobic, transphobic in the guise of religion. I am personally agnostic. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in religion. But if there truly is a God that I believe that we will never truly comprehend or know what that God wants or wills. But regardless, I did grow up in a Christian family. I did study in a Jesuit university, and also I was required to take theology. If there's anything that I learned in that school, in theology, is that Jesus was always about love and acceptance, especially for those who are rejected by society. If there's also anything that I learned in theology, is that we never should take the Bible literally. A lot of Christians make the mistakes of truly not understanding the passages, and one other thing that I learned is that to never ever cherry pick Bible verses to support your argument. And if there's anything that I learned from Father Balchan when I had my theology orals, he asked me if God is a man. And I remember one of our discussion is that God is simply God. God has no gender. God has no sexuality. We attach physical traits or human traits to God because it's easy for us to comprehend as humans. But in reality, we don't know who God is or what God is. But anyway, I'm not here to convince you to accept me. I'm here because I feel like a lot of my LGBTQIA plus siblings out there have trouble with religion, especially when we have people like this in the church. Faith religion is a personal relationship with God, and I hope you don't let people like this ruin that relationship. If God was truly all-knowing, all-powerful, and etc., etc., then don't you think that he may have created us this way? Because if you want to tie it up with science, we see that homosexuality is natural. If you want to tie it up with science, changing sex is something that is also natural in, example, clownfishes. If you want to tie it up with science, I hope you also consider that intersex people exist. If you want to tie it up with religion, there are other religions that would celebrate people who are transgender, people who are dual-spirited. Let's not forget that Christianity is not the only religion in the world. And please, I hope we don't claim that your religion is the one true religion. Anyway, you know, God bless. Bye. And there you go, mga kabarnians. I hope you learned and I hope you had an idea on how the transgender women live in this crazy world. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you did enjoy this video, consider to like, subscribe, share this one to all of your friends. And don't you ever forget to leave a comment below. Thank you again. Adios. And see you again for our next episode. Bye for now.